beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and this month I have the two Potomac Beads Best Bead Boxes, the Base Box and the XL version, which both come in the same size box as you can see. And this is for the month of February 2020. As of today, as of the time I'm filming this, both boxes are still available, which is amazing because the XL has been selling out extremely quickly, but they did say they were adding more spots to meet the demand. I do have a coupon code to share and that is opal10 if you want to save 10% off your first subscription with them and of course I will leave that as well as the link to their website where you can sign up down below if you want to check it out and check out more details about the subscription they do ship internationally as well not just to the US and as usual, let's get started with the base box. Now this one starts as low as $19.99 per month with free shipping to the US, depending on how long you sign up. You can do a one month box for $25.99 or decide to sign up for different subscription lengths. One thing I like to point out about these boxes is that they are awesome to reuse. They are heavy duty and they have a magnetic closure. So I have been loving the fact that I can reuse these boxes for bead storage and other things. So let's pop this open and let's see, on top is our theme. It says, bead my Valentine. So I'm thinking we may see some, yeah, pinks and maybe some red, some gold. We'll check out all the contents down here in just a minute. And of course, inside that first insert, we have the list of everything that's included in the base box, as well as this link down here, which is going to bring you to many of their awesome video tutorials that will correspond to some of the things you might see in this box if you're stumped on what to do or are looking for some ideas. You will see on this list that some of these items are starred, and that is because those items correspond to this paper pattern that we have here. Looks like this month they have included one called the Love Triangle Pendant. There's the full look at that. So everything you need to make this pendant plus much more is gonna be included in this box. These also have video tutorials to go along with them. There's a little peek quickly of how that looks inside. So you can not only follow this paper pattern, but if you like to follow along on video, you'll be able to find that too. So here is a quick preliminary peek at all of our contents. I'm gonna take these out and get organized and we'll look through everything one at a time. All right guys, so we have 18 bags of items to go through in this base box. So all those contents plus the printed pattern, I think that's a great value, especially for the $19.99 per month and free shipping to the US. Let's get started because we have a lot to go through. The first item is this square and they're calling it a cosmic square ring on the list, 14 millimeter. And this is one of the items that is going to form the base, it looks like of our pendant down here. So here is a close look at this crystal square. You can see that it's slightly faceted, has some interesting color play with some pink and purple on the inside going more towards a chartreuse, a little bit of gold on the outer edges. And there is a look at the back of this square. Our next bag contains some Miyuki Delica beads in the 11-0 size. Looks like mine came in this lovely cream color with a slight AB finish on it. You will find that some of the colors will vary in the subscription from person to person, which is why you won't see color names listed on that paper insert. And up until now, they had been listing the color names at least and possibly SKU numbers on these labels, but I'm noticing that on this box, they haven't done that. So just pointing that out to you guys. So that is another bag of contents that's going to go towards our pendant as well as these. Now this bag contains some Miyuki seed beads in the 15-0 size. I got mine in this gold color that is also silver lined and I think they're matte also. Those are quite pretty. And it looks like there's about five grams in here. From my experience getting these boxes the past couple months, they do send you more than you need to make these patterns, which is awesome. Our next bag contains some spiky button beads. I received mine in this pretty rosy pink color with the satiny finish. Wanted to take these out for you so you can get a good look at these beads. They are a one hole bead. These are one that I haven't received before, so that's always fun. That's another thing I appreciate about these Potomac subscriptions is you're going to get some really interesting shapes and also things that you can find on their website. So if you did want to order more or something in different colors, this is a great way to sample all different types of beads and get creative with things you may not have purchased on your own. And also have the ability to find more of that item pretty easily. My next bag here contains four lamp work beads. You can see these have a cute little floral design. Let's pop these out. 
And here is a close-up look at these. You can see the dainty glass opaque yellow and white flowers inside there with the tiny burnt orange center. And they're kind of encased in this clear glass. Typical of lamp work beads, they're all gonna be just a little bit different and more on the chunky side. I think those are really cute. Next up, another fun shape. These are some round duos and I received mine in the color white lava red. So they did include the color on this one. And I think one other bag over there. These are really fun. They have so many different patterns for these round duos. As you can see, these are like a round check glass druck bead, but they have two holes running through them. And they also sell round trios. Those are a three hole round bead that are just like this. Really like that color. It's kind of a slightly orangey red with almost a matte metallic finish. Our next items here in this bag are some check glass heart beads. There's 10 beads inside. And they're in this sweet light pink color with the hole running up and down through the center of the bead. And we not only receive beads in this subscription, we also get some findings as well. So here's a bag containing a pewter heart toggle clasp. I won't take this out, but you can see the details on that with the little floral design on each piece of this component. And there's a look at the back. So they do appear to be the same on both the front and the back. Next up, we receive some rose quartz. These are some small four millimeter rounds. You can see that very translucent light pink color. It says these are faceted on the bag itself, but they're not. They're completely smooth. I really enjoy rose quartz, so happy to get some in the four millimeter size. And then we have this bag of check glass faceted rounds in the six millimeter size. There's 30 pieces in this bag. These are very cool, have almost an antique look to them due to the finish that's splotched over the top. And the glass itself and the base reminds me of like a root beer brown type of a color. And it's got an extra luster on it. As I move them around, you can see that extra shiny finish that these have. Those are beautiful. Next, we have some more findings. This bag contains some pewter key charms. There's two of those. Very cool, I like that they're different. And these do appear to be double-sided. This one has the ring on the top where you would attach that to whatever you're making. And this one's just got a hole here at the top of this design. Here's a look at the back so you can see they are both the same on either side. And next up, we have a bag containing two tassels. These are very bright red and come with a gold jump ring already attached, ready to go for you to add to whatever it is you're creating. Next up, another fun shape. We received a bag of Ava beads. There's six of those inside. And these are a two hole bead. As you can see, there's two holes, one there and one there that run across the bead. I know Potomac's got quite a few different patterns available for these also. And I received mine in this bright metallic silver. Then moving on to our next bag, we have some dome beads. These are in the 10 by six millimeter size. And there's six pieces in here. And it looks like I received mine in this golden metallic color, kind of a toned down gold. Sometimes I see it called flax. And these are a one hole bead. You can see that there and how they are flat on the bottom and rounded on the top. So kind of similar to the two hole check glass cabochon beads, except they're one hole and these are larger. Next up, we have this bag containing two glass pearl cabochons. These are in an 18 millimeter size. There's a look at the back, which of course you would either bead around or glue onto something. These would be great in bead embroidery or some type of bead weaving project if you wanted to create a beaded bezel to go around them. These are really pretty and even though they're glass, they do have that same kind of satiny luster that you see when you're looking at actual pearls. Next up, we have another bag. These are tri beads in a four and a half millimeter size. As you can see, these have a triangular shape. They're quite flat and the hole runs right through the center. I received mine in this brassy antique gold metallic that has kind of a matte finish. And I will have to look up some patterns on Potomac beads to get some ideas personally on what to do with these because these are another one I haven't personally played with. Second to last in this box is this bag right here containing some check bicones in the six millimeter size. I received mine in this pretty amethyst purple glass with the AB finish coating that is partially covering this shape. And you can see the bicone shape there, but they're also slightly rounded, 
which makes them different than some of your other crystal bicones that are more pointed and not as smoothed out. And the final bag in this month's base box contains these beautiful floral beads called Czech Glass Bellflowers. We have two different colors in this bag, and those are gorgeous. You can see this medium pink tone with the white and pink speckles possibly has a rose gold luster on it. And then these in this cream color, they are more of a solid color. You can see these have a hole that runs right through the center of the flower and comes out at the base. All right, so that's everything for the contents of the best bead box, the smaller version. Such a great mix of different items in here from some seed beads in different sizes, even delicas, various shapes and multi-hole beads. You get some findings, you get some cabs, things you may not have played with, but will inspire you to then go to, say, their channel and search for some new things to maybe push you outside of your comfort zone or to mix with things from your own stash. And also that printed pattern that's ready to go with all the beads that you need to make it so you have a project you can make right from the box. Really love that feature. So I'm gonna clean these items up. We're gonna take a look at the XL box. If you've seen my unboxings of these before, you know that these two boxes do overlap. So you will find all of these items in the XL box, just possibly different colors. So we'll check out the color variations and then see what else is in that XL box beyond these contents. All right, guys, here's the XL. Let's pop this open, same great box, same insert here on the top, but as you can see, this one is a lot longer in terms of the contents. This one also comes with three printed patterns instead of just the one, plus contents inside to make two of the patterns, and of course, a lot more than you need for that. It says that we will have, of course, we already know the contents to make the Love Triangle Pendant, and these Savannah Sunset earrings, those are so cute. And then you also get a third pattern in the XL box. You just don't get all the beads to make the third pattern, but you at least have everything you need to make the two in addition to all the other contents. Here's a sneak peek of everything inside. I'm gonna take out the things that overlap and then again, we're gonna go through everything one at a time. All right, so for the XL box, of course, these are the types of contents we already looked at that were in the base box. I have separated them out so you can see how the color selection does vary a little bit. These, of course, are just like what we already saw. These are some of the contents that came in different colors. So you remember like we got these in that flax gold color in the other box. These lampwork beads are completely different. The delicas are completely different. The spike buttons, the bicones. The tri beads I have here are more of a coppery color. And then these 15 OC beads aren't the silver line, they're a different variety. So beyond that, let's take a look at everything else that's in the XL box. And we're gonna start with these. These are gorgeous. Let me take these out for you. They're two faceted Czech glass bicones. Look at that beautiful pink color with that gold wash over the top. Lots of gorgeous detail in here. Could make a very pretty and quick, simple pair of earrings using these right away. I'm glad they included two. Next up, we have this fun glass cabochon. It's a floral pattern and it's an 18 by 25 oval. Here's a close up look at that. I always like getting interesting cabs and it seems like they send at least one out with their boxes every month. Here's a look at the back. You can see it's just basic white flat back there and then the clear glass over top of that printed pattern. Next, we have this bag containing a pewter bird link. Isn't that sweet? Here is a close up look at this. It's quite light in my hand, although I don't feel like I can bend it easily, so that's good. Here's a look at the back. It's not double sided. It's got two holes, one on either side, so you could possibly make this into a really cute bracelet and use this as a focal component, for example. Definitely seeing some romantic themed items here in this month's box, but definitely could be used any time of the year, which I think is great. And next up, we have some check glass two hole tile beads. I love working with these. These are in the six by six millimeter size. Beautiful shade there of light, cotton candy pink, I'll call it. And you can see how the two holes run parallel through those square beads. Next up, we have a bag of Potomac Beads Disco Balls or these faceted round crystals. I received mine in the Smoky Topaz AB. And these are the six millimeter size. You can see that rainbow effect of the coating that's on the glass. And again, we have that kind of a root beer brown, I'm gonna call it, color as the base. Next up, we have another finding component. This is a metal heartbeat, actually. And here's the variety mine came in. 
Very sweet and a plated gold finish. You can see the hole just runs right up through the center of the heart and then it's got that little bit of a raised pattern on both sides of the bead. Next up, we have a bag of Storm Duos, another fun shape. You can see that I received mine in this color called Aztec Gold. And it's one of those items you can find in the Savannah Sunset earrings. Again, we have everything we need to make those included in this month's selection. Here's a close-up look at those Storm Duos in this metallic gold color. It's got that slightly wavy design with the two holes running across the bead. Our next bag contains these check glass drops in this four by six millimeter size. Aren't those cute? I saw in their description how they were referring to a strawberries and cream kind of color scheme, and that's what these remind me of, how that pink is swirled with this light creamy tan color, and these are a drop shape. You can see the hole is top drilled, and they get larger and more round down there at the bottom. We also have two of these halo beads. I received mine in an antique brass color. You can think of these as like little metallic frames that will go around the round duos. And these are also something you're gonna find in these earrings as well as these drops that we already saw. You can see the two holes that are right there running through those beads. And next we have a bag containing round trios. So these are actually gonna be in that earring pattern. You can use the round trio beads, of course, with those halo beads also. I received my round trios in the Aztec gold color, just like those storm duos down there. Now there's 10 of these included in the bag. And as you can see, like I mentioned before, you get more than you need for these patterns and you'll only be using two of those, it looks like in the earring pattern. So you will have more of these left over than what you'll need for that pattern. We also received another bag of Miyuki 15 OC beads. I received the color silver lined crystal. These will also be used in the pattern. Of course, I received these other 15 O's from our overlap. So I would probably pair these gold with the color scheme we have going on for what will be used in the earrings, which leads us to our very last two items. We have a bag of four wire guards and also a bag containing one pair of post gold plated earring findings also to be used for the pattern. So it's all of these items, which when you count these and add them to the overlap, I believe that comes to 31 bags, plus we have three patterns. So all that for the cost of $35.99 per month for the XL box, depending on how long you sign up. That one also has free shipping to the US and their international shipping price is $4.99 to all other countries. Here's the big picture view of everything that's included in that XL box. And like I said, both of them are available at the time that I'm filming this, which is pretty cool. The XL definitely doesn't last as long. That one has sold out so fast since they started doing these boxes. So if you want that one, you probably should jump on it right away. Otherwise you'll have to join their waiting list and hopefully get off of that the next time around. Like I said, I will leave the link to these subscriptions down below. And I do have that coupon code OPAL10 that you can use to save 10% off one of their subscriptions. This is one that I highly recommend. I love checking out what they have included. It's always such an eclectic mix. You don't really know exactly what to expect. Although the contents do generally follow the same theme where you're gonna get a mix of beads, a little bit of findings, everything you need to make one or two of the patterns depending on which box you pick up. You'll get some cabochons, sometimes some rivolis, things that cross over between bead weaving, stringing, other types of beading crafts, bead embroidery, and the list goes on. I love having the opportunity to share these boxes with you guys so you can get a close-up look and determine if either of these speaks to your creative side, works within your budget, and also if these contain items that you enjoy playing with. So you decide that for yourself because we are all different, but hopefully this helps you make that decision. I want to thank you guys so much, of course, for being with me for another unboxing. I do have much more to come, so hopefully you'll stay tuned and follow along with me. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this month's box selections or anything else you'd like to say. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.